everyone, it's Audrey with Social Media 4, that's the number 4, beginners.com, where we provide the training that empowers you to stay connected to your family, your friends, clients, customers, through all of the different social media sites. Now today is Tip Trick Tuesday, and what that means is every Tuesday, I'm gonna be bringing you a tip or a trick on the major social media sites like Facebook and, and Twitter and uh, Pinterest and YouTube and Instagram and all those big ones that's gonna make your life a lot easier or it's different things that you didn't even know that you could do on these sites. So today, what we're gonna be talking about is your newsfeed. Do you ever feel like you are seeing the same things over and over, the same people, the same businesses over and over and over again? Well, there is a reason for it, and I'm going to show you how to refresh your newsfeed. So let's jump inside of Facebook. All right, so here we are on my news feed. And as we scroll down, you're gonna see a couple of my friends, maybe some business pages that are, oh my goodness, some of my friends posted some stuff. Um, so anyway, these are uh, family, friends, and businesses that I follow on Facebook, okay? But up here to the left, you're gonna see news feed, and then it has three dots. Now, anytime you see three dots, that means there's a menu behind there. So go ahead and click on that. I promise your computer is not going to blow up. Now you'll notice that it has top stories, most recent and edit preferences. Now I'll do a whole nother tutorial sometime later about editing these preferences, but for today we're just gonna talk about top stories and most recent. Your top stories, that if you go and you look at your newsfeed right now, I guarantee you, you are probably seeing top stories. And what that is, is all of your friends and the business pages that you follow that is getting the most engagement on whatever it was that they posted is what is coming up in your newsfeed. Now, always remember, okay, Facebook is a social networking site, and so they want you to be social. They want to share the things that are being um, engaged with the most. So as you go through your newsfeed, if you have um, friends or family or businesses that are posting a lot and their posts are really getting engagement on it, like likes and comments and shares, then Facebook is saying, hey, well, guess what? You probably want to, you know, uh, see this also. And that's what's happening is all of those is coming up under your top stories. But if you notice, when I click on most recent, and when you click on most recent, you're going to see pages that you haven't seen in a while and friends that you have not seen in your newsfeed for a while. Now, I don't know the exact algorithm of uh, Facebook's you know, top stories and, and most recent, what constitutes as a top story. I'm not really 100% sure. I just know that this, when I do most recent, it will revert back to top stories. And so every once in a while, or if I am on Facebook and I'm kind of doing some investigative work, finding out what's the next video tutorial to, to do, um, I will go into the most recent and I'll go ahead and refresh my newsfeed to see that. Now, I do want to give you a little bit of an um, insider scoop if you don't know. If you have noticed that a friend of yours is no longer in the news feed, okay, um, that, that means that you have no longer, you haven't been engaging. That's why a lot of your friends and the businesses fall out of your news feed and are not shown in there is because Facebook says to itself, I guess, that, hey, you guys aren't interacting, so we're gonna put people that you are interacting in your newsfeed. The crazy thing is that if you go to a friend's timeline and that you haven't seen in your newsfeed for a while, maybe you're like, where did this person go? Did they like unfriend me? Did they get off Facebook? And you go and you see their timeline, um, it triggers. Like Facebook will be like, oh, wait a minute. You wait, you're engaging. You actually engaged and came to their timeline. So that means that maybe you want to see their stuff back in your newsfeed. 
and you'll start seeing that friend's stuff in your newsfeed and vice versa. Like your stuff will start being seen in their newsfeed as well. Now that's a little bit of a way that maybe you can tell if somebody's, you know, checking out your timeline <laughs> also. But just to let you know, um, that's kind of how you can re-trigger uh, Facebook for bringing up other friends in your newsfeed. And then once you're engaging with them a lot more, they'll continue to come up in your newsfeed. So that is the way that you can refresh and if this video helped you or maybe you didn't know hey let me know in the description or not the description no <laughs> let me know in the comments below if there is a video tutorial you'd like me to do let me know in the comments below and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit that subscribe button of course if you want to be notified every time a new tip trick tuesday video has come out and all of my new courses that are going to be free for all of you and going to be hosted and you know upload it to youtube be sure to hit the bell okay so until next video and tip trick tuesday y'all be blessed have a great day bye